morning. We're coming out this morning to milk the goats and I figured we'd show you guys how we do that. So the first thing we do in the morning is we need warm soapy water to wash their teats off. I have a glass, clean glass jar that I milk into and then I have my reserve jars that I pour that into that have lids to keep it clean. Um, so we close their heads up here in the milking stand where they can munch on some alfalfa pellets and this lets them stay still so that we can milk them out. So the first thing we do is we wash their teats and udders off to get all the dirt and excess hair off. Just clean them up real good. Okay, and then get your fingers around the teats. Reverse teats are a little small, but she's a good producer, so. And just a couple squirts just to clean the duct out so that you're not squirting dirt into your jar. I like to use these quart size jars because it's easier. I've used the big um, stainless steel buckets and it's just, it's more difficult. And for me, this is just, this is easier for me and I rather be comfortable. All right, so Miss River gave us a little bit under a half a gallon. And we're gonna put her back and get Miss Kate on the stand. Uh, so this is Kate and she's my favorite to milk. Um, her teats are the right size and she's super calm and just sweet. And doesn't kick. Most of the girls don't kick, but they do if they run out of treats. So we clean the teats off, and then I a couple squirts to just clean out the duct. And right into the jar. If they kick or something, you lose a lot more milk if you're milking into a bigger pail. And using this jar, the jar is higher up, we're closer to the teat, so it's allowing for less dirt and debris to get into the milk. And when this gets full, I just pour it off into one of my reserve jars. Sometimes, to have her let more down, we act kind of like a baby goat, and a baby goat if you've ever seen a baby goat drink off their mother, um, to get milk down, they headbutt their teats right here, and the mom lets more milk down. So we'll see. Let me see. You can tell just more came out that time. Miss Pearl here. She's not my favorite to milk and most people would think she would be the easiest because her teats are so big but I just I don't like milking her as much. All right, so the next step after we're done milking is we have to bring the milk in here and strain it. And we use one of these metal milk strainers that we ordered off Amazon. And then I also use a coffee filter to double strain it.
So currently we're just milking once a day because we're kid sharing, but when the babies are weaned from their mothers, um, we will start milking twice a day. And currently we're getting about three quarters of a gallon every morning. That will double once we start milking twice a day. And that's when we start saving it for our soap. Currently we have enough to where we're feeding a baby goat. His mother um, didn't want anything to do with him, so he is bottle fed and we use this milk for bottle feeding him. We drink it, we make cheese, we make yogurt. And then once we start milking twice a day, we start um, saving the milk for our soap business where we make um, homemade goat milk soap. So this morning we got a full half gallon plus about half of a quart there and a full bottle for little cow. So now we're gonna put this in the fridge and hat out, let the babies out and feed baby.